Hi everybody. So we have a nickname for my class. We call it Recess with Power Tools. And we say that jokingly, but it's sort of true. And I've been thinking a lot about this because I'm learning Spanish and I'm picking up the piano again, which I haven't played since I was like in the third grade. And the thing that all of, of the things that I'm, you know, trying to learn myself have in common with the way our students learn in our recess with power tools is you got to do it to love it. And this goes back to why what we do gets kids in the door and gets them interested in their own education and eventually advocating for their own education. You got to do it before you learn to love it. You got to play with the blocks before you want to build something. In my class today, we were working in the sewing lab and we were various kids, different levels, different projects. Uh, they start on hand sewing and then we move them to simple stuff on the sewing machine and then measurements and getting into more complicated things. But I had a group of kids who just started playing in the scrap bin. They'd finished their projects. We're only down there for another day before we go back upstairs to, uh, to work on stage. And they said, can we just make something? I'm like, yeah, what do you want to make? I don't know. Just want to make something. Yeah, there's scrap boxes over there. Go nuts. They're putting stuff together. They're, they're trying things that they were afraid to try a week and a half before when there was a structure to it. You have to play before you decide you want to learn. That's natural. That is the way we work. That's the way our brains work. You don't fall in love with playing the piano because somebody put a piece of sheet music in front of you. You hear it, you see it, you sit down in front of it, you start banging on the keys. And then you figure out that banging on the keys in specific ways makes things sound better. And then you want to know how to do that. You don't learn to speak any language by somebody putting a, a conjugation sheet in front of you. You just don't. You play and you listen and then you want to go do that thing and then you learn the things that you have to to go out and do that thing. That's what we need and that's why Recess with Power Tools matters and makes better people and makes for good theater. So that is my, my tidbit for the day and yeah. Play with power tools. Good night.